Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the second stage of the Divine Wrath and Mortal Will Challenge event. So this one is against Goku Black. Just Goku Black, not Samasa and Goku Black, not Goku Black you know, and Rose or Rose Goku Black and Zamasu, blah blah blah. Just Goku Black. And so basically we're going to be taking a look at, you know, how to beat the event. Now we see here, um, we have, you know, a pretty straightforward lineup. A lot of free-to-play units in the team. Uh, I think a pretty much free-to-play team. Pretty much, basically, the whole team free-to-play, but it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, to be honest with you, pretty simple strategy here. There's two phases, the boss will change at a certain health threshold. Uh, from the you know, strength or physical format into the strength one. Now the physical one you can lower the attack of, which helps out. Uh, but the strength one you can't do anything about. You can't lower his attack or anything like that. Uh, so you basically just kind of have to deal with it. Uh, the trick here, essentially, is to just bring a team that has quite a few AGL types. That way they can deal with the strength phase. And they don't suffer too much during the physical phase and then what you can do is you can also of course uh, use the attack lowering of units so it's a pretty decent time I would say overall this event is fairly straightforward um, these challenge stages for the you know mortal like event is pretty interesting um, I think at the end of the day it's you know like a pretty straightforward event. There's not too much to do in the Goku Black phase, like I say. You can lower his attack in the beginning phase. That helps. Uh, outside of that, there's nothing else really to do, um, strats-wise. And there's not a lot, um, you know, that you need. I think for the most part, uh, you can just kind of focus on having a little bit of attack lowering to handle the beginning phase. And... Yeah, I think at the end of the day, you should be pretty good to go. I don't think there's going to be any major train smashes uh, if you obviously, you know, don't bring a whole team of attack lowering units. I think you can just bring a little bit to just take the edge off the first phase. And then from there, you can kind of facilitate things a little bit better. Of course, as always, you know, it's not so straightforward there's not always a you know be all end all kind of answer to these events but i think you have a decent roster of free to play units to choose from you know we've got the strength vegeto i'm using the great sandman units just because the great sandman units tend to have uh attack lowering they're pretty solid defensively after super they also gain advantage against you know like a whole bunch of extreme units so Bringing them into an event where you're facing extreme units feels like it's something that's, you know, to a certain extent helpful and reasonable. Um, you know, when it just comes to, like, overall performance and getting things done. So, yeah, um, outside of that, uh, you know, I think, you know, for me, pretty straightforward. Um, I don't really feel the need to change this team. Obviously, if you're going for a no item run, you can consider some adjustments, but in reality, I don't think it's such a tough event that you need to make rapid changes. I like some of these units. I think for the most part, what you're looking for, reasonably speaking, is probably just to kind of surrender a little bit of your attack lowering and defensive security. And if you go full damage, you can probably clear out this event a little bit easier, actually. Um, at least I think overall. You probably don't struggle so much, and yeah, you should have a pretty decent time. With that being said, um, yeah, honestly speaking, not a huge headache taking on this event. Me personally, I'm quite happy with uh, how the team ran out. I think AGL Trunks is probably the one I'd replace the most, just because you can't really get the finishing blow or anything like that, so yeah, that's obviously something that you need to bear in mind. Uh, the inability to get a finishing blow kind of speaks volumes 
just because that's where a large portion of his additional defense comes from. And so yeah, um, you yeah, know, not having that additional kind of performance, that additional defense, that additional strength uh, can, to a certain effect, like diminish his ability. But he does have type advantage in the second phase, so that is always something that's helpful. And I think, yeah, you do have to consider that when you're thinking about how best to run the team. But yeah, that's basically it. Honestly, it wasn't too hard an event. I think so far we've done them all the first two free to play, which is good. And we'll just kind of take things from there. But let me know if you have any issues. But yeah, I think at the end of the day, it's a pretty fun event. I think this was a good, you know, a good one without being necessarily an overtly difficult one. Um, I do tend to like it. So yeah, but that's basically it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, of course, take care. Stay safe. And yeah, if you do need any help with these events, you can always let me know in the comments down below. At the end of the day, I don't think these are too hard, but they're quite a bit of fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. So until then, take care and bye.